So your browser has a security issue, again. And your browser is constantly transferring data to Google or Microsoft over and over again. It's time to change something, isn't it? Hi, this is Karsten with OpenTech. And while you are here, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to hit the notification bell, since it helps. And now let's talk about how to install and configure Firefox, making it the most privacy oriented browser without any huge effort. Let's get into it. Okay, first thing to do, open your existing browser and search for Firefox. Then you head over to the Mozilla homepage and click on download Firefox. That download just takes a few seconds. And once downloaded, open the installer. Probably you need to authenticate and then just install your Firefox. The installation again takes a few seconds and then you can basically hit the finish button and you are good to go. Your Firefox is now installed. Next thing to do is to activate synchronization. So enter the sync settings and either register a new email address or sign in with your existing one. In my case, I'm registering a new one. I'm entering the email address and the password and state that I'm 99 years of age. Click create account and they will send me a six digit code, which I have to enter hit verify and now my Firefox is synchronized. An important thing to do is to change the search engine. Head over to the settings, hit search and select the search engine of your choice. In my case, it's DuckDuckGo. Okay, now we will install our first extension. We open the settings, head over to extensions and themes, click on extensions and hit the link to addons.mozilla.org. Here we start searching for our extension. In this case, it's the AdGuard ad blocker. We then hit add to Firefox, confirm it. And then we have AdGuard already installed. Now we can configure AdGuard. I will make sure that it blocks everything. You can change that according to your liking. Now let's install Privacy Badger, an awesome extension for the privacy oriented ones. The next extension we want to install is Facebook container, which prevents Facebook from spying upon us. Every Facebook page is now going to be opened within the container. So now that we have installed Edgard Privacy Badger and the Facebook container, we just need to install one more extension and that is the multi-account containers extension. That extension is an awesome extension since it allows us to place every single tab in its own container if we wish to. Importantly, data is not shared between containers. So with the Facebook containers extension, we have already installed an extension that preserves data for and from Facebook in one single container, not leaking it across other containers. And now we can have the same behaviors with the multi-account containers extension. So let's go and install it. To install it, search for the extension and hit add 
to Firefox. Now open settings and head over to the container settings where you would choose select a container for each new tab, allowing each tab to run in its own container going forward. Containers can also be synchronized. So if you click on the icon of the extension, you will be able to activate the synchronization. Hit start syncing and sign into your Firefox account. We are already signed in here, so it's just a matter of confirming the password. Now we need to finish the installation. So we head over to the settings, head over to extensions and themes, and click on options for Firefox multi-account containers. Now we enable the bookmark menus. So bookmarks will also be opened in their appropriate and assigned containers. And we enable replace tab instead of creating a new one in the tab behavior section. And now we can go and use Firefox containers. So what we do first is we open the Facebook container. See, it is always color coded on the top. We sign into Facebook. And now we can use Facebook the way we want it to be used. Okay, now open a new tab probably a shopping tab or whatever, hit again the Facebook link and notice that you are automatically placed in the Facebook container again. Now hit manage containers and hit add a new container. I call this container Google. I customize it a bit. And once I've done that, I'm switching to the Google container and open google.com. Now what I do is the actual magic. I hit the menu for multi-account containers and select that I want Google to be opened in the Google container going forward. So if I now open a new container, which is not the Google container, and enter google.com, it will ask me whether I want to open it in the Google container or not. I choose to do so and now whenever I create a new container and hit google.com it will automatically open everything in the google container. So you see working with Firefox containers is an awesome way of separating things from each other again. Containers do not share data with other containers. So you can also have some sort of logic where you would basically open three, four, five different accounts in different containers and you can have them open and running at the same time. I, for example, do that with my email accounts. I have literally half a dozen of email accounts with the same providers. So I typically have five different container tabs open with different email accounts and they do not interfere with each other. So that's an awesome extension and the Facebook container extension then basically adds a bit of automatism to it. So whenever you hit Facebook, your website will automatically open within the Facebook container, not leaking data to other websites. Okay, last thing to do is we need to enable a dark team, obviously. We haven't done that yet, and it is one of the most important steps for everyone working with Firefox. So what we do is we basically head over to the settings. We then hit extensions and themes, hit the extension option and select the dark team. We hit enable and voila, 
we have a dark team enabled. Awesome. So there you have it. We have installed Firefox. We have added Edgard as ad blocker, privacy badger for our privacy. We have added Facebook container and the multi-account container extension to our Firefox, making it an awesome tool for privacy and for browsing the web. What do you make out of that? Do you see the use and the sense in that? Or do you feel like, yeah, no, I stay with Edge or Chrome because I don't care about privacy? Let me know in the comments below. And while you are there, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to hit the notification bell. Since it helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And don't forget, let's make the world a better place. Now more than ever. Thanks for dropping by. See you later. Bye.